This is called the Exploration Command Center. This is one of several command centers that are set up around the country that allow us to link live to the NOAA ship Okeanos Explorer. Exploration used to be conducted where you get a small group of scientists, 12 to 20 scientists, who would be isolated to a ship. But they collect their observations, their data and information. They get, the expedition concludes, they go back to their labs and two or three years later you start seeing the findings that, uh, that they've developed. What we've done here is we've taken that science capacity and capability and we've placed it on shore as opposed to on a ship. You can actually establish communities of scientists that are working in different locations that are sharing their observations and making their observations. Uh, I'd say it's a reality show, but it's uh, more real than reality. When we're doing this type of exploration, you really never know what it is that you're going to witness during one of these dives. Um, I think most people's perception of the oceans is when they go to the beach and they're looking out and they just see the surface of the ocean stretching off to the horizon. And they know that something's underneath there, but they've never really been able to get a handle on it. And I think people are always wondering what is really down there. And uh, this gives them the ability to actually participate and understand more about what's going on down, down below the, uh, the surface of the ocean.